So this is me playing Minecraft natively on the Meta Quest 3. And you can play it too if you watch this video. And best of all, you can do it on a Meta Quest 2, Meta Quest 3, or Meta Quest 3S without the need of a PC, wire, or phone. You can do it using just a headset and Minecraft Java Edition linked to a Microsoft account. That is all you need. And this video is 100% working from July 16th, 2025. And if you want 10% off any VR game, go down in the description and click this link. So first, what we need to do is install SideQuest on to the quest this can also be done with just the headset so before i go into this guys i just want to show you that i am running a most recent version of the software so let's just go to my settings software update all up to date version 79.10 29 that is the most recent update that i have so first of all i want you to go to the store and go to mobile vr station download and install that to your device now when that's downloaded we don't need to do anything with it just yet what we're going to want to do next is we want to go to our browser and we want to go to sidequestvr.com and we want to log into our account or create one if we haven't got one once that's logged in what we need to do then is you want to go to SideQuest at the top and we want to search for SideQuest inside your headset. But SideQuest will be just enough. And we see there's SideQuest inside your headset. We're going to click on that. We're going to go down to this option here, which is download APK directly. And it'll take you to this website here. Scroll down and it'll say appreleased.apk click on it and it will download your device now for some reason since the update it doesn't tell you that a download has been completed i might have notifications off and um, but just assume that when you click it that it has now what you need to do is you want to go back to mobile vr station when that's launched i'm just going to take this opportunity as well guys just to let you know that if you do need 10 percent of any game in the quest library go down in the description anyway let's get back to it let's go to mobile vr station we want to load that up click here to continue right so now what we want to do is we want to go to configuration wizard show all options configure manage all files and you want to say open all files now what's going to happen is it's going to go into the downloads folder so you can get that by going up here go to downloads and you will see app release.apk that is the file we just downloaded for sidequest you want to click on that and you just say, do you want to install this app? Yes, we do indeed. Now it might take a little while to install. So let's just wait for that. There we go, app installed. Now we wanna open the app. Now we are gonna get this uh, option here. Now what we need to do, we need to go to SideQuest over in our browser, and we need to go to that link here. So let's open up another tab. Do not close this down or you'll get another code and you'll have to type in a new code again. So sdq.st.link, I've got that there. Let's click on that. Click on that there, which is the first one. This is why you had to log in with your account so you can get this up. Now, if you go to this option here, you see connect app to your SideQuest account. We're gonna put in this code. 205 Four, eight and then we're gonna click yes link now now any second now bam there we go allow this app to access your order files allow now within the side quest app we are going to install questcraft so search for it in the box here and when it pops up click and press sideload and then it will install on your device now if this shows up all you have to do is click settings and tick the box for an install in an unknown app and it'll ask you to install questcraft now, before we do anything else, open up your browser and log into the Microsoft account that has Java Edition on it. Bear in mind, no other version linked to your account will work. It has to be Java Edition. Anyway, once that's done, open up Questcraft, scroll down on the terms and conditions and press continue. Now, open up your browser and go to the link, microsoft.com forward slash link, and input the code you see on screen and click allow access. You may need to reconfirm your login again. Do this, scroll down and press accept. Now, real quickly, when I did this, I got an error saying something went wrong, but it did actually work. You can confirm it's linked by looking at the top left corner and seeing your account name there. Now press play and the necessary files will start to download and just wait for the bar to load up. After this, simply press play and just be patient. If the game crashes like it did with me on the first time, just reload Questcraft and press play again 
and you'll see stuff starting to work by loads of text appearing in this box. The game will launch when that's complete. Now you have access to Minecraft in VR and you didn't need a PCY or phone in order to install it.